Bro, Frederick coming at you with another video. You saw the thumbnail. I bet in a million years you never thought you'd hear the words stop playing slot machines come out of my mouth. But I'm going to tell you why and I'm even going to tell you what you can do about it. But folks, it is time to boycott slot machines, especially here in Las Vegas. And I'm going to tell you why right after this. And we're back. Like I said, I bet you never thought you'd hear the words coming out of my mouth, stop playing slot machines. But today you are going to hear those words. I did a live stream last night where I covered some of this information, some of the whys and why nots about stopping playing slot machines and why I'm personally not going to be playing slot machines, but I thought it deserved its own video. A little history about me. In case you don't know, if you look back on the channel, you'll see a lot of slot advice, you'll see money management tips, you'll even see actual slot machine play. And I don't regret doing any of that whatsoever because I personally happen to enjoy playing slot machines. Unfortunately, what's been taking place in the past two to three years is what I would consider predatory. Apsa freaking lootly predatory slot machines. We all know the anticipation of a win is where it's at. The dopamine hit is where it's at. The enjoyment, the supposed relaxation, you have a couple of drinks, a couple of coffees, whatever the case may be. We wrote it off, and I wrote it off in my mind as entertainment, as killing time as my getting away, whatever the case may be, the rationalization, the justification, and rightfully so at that point in time because there was a little bit of entertainment value left in slot machines. When this town reopened after the shutdown, machines were very, very loose and it was fun to play. You had a chance of winning or you had a chance of just not being ripped off. It was much more fun. I legitimately have about 50 to 60 hours of video on slot machine play that I could put out, I could make money on it, but I would feel guilty at this point perpetrating the fraud that you could actually, you stand a chance or your money stands a chance here in Las Vegas in a slot machine. But as of late, your money, you'd be better off giving it to people in need or you'd be better off burning it and keeping your hands warm to get some type of value out of your money. Because right now, I have never seen slot machines this tight in my entire life. And I've been playing slot machines since my early teens, everywhere from Lake Tahoe, Reno, Las Vegas, you name it, every casino, every property. It's just been an enjoyable thing for me. However, that has solely and wholly changed. Right now, like I said, slot machines are set up as predatory devices. Hear me out. Predatory devices. Legally, the casinos can lower the pay on the machine down to 75%. When, when I say a loose slot machine, I would say anywhere from the mid to high 90s would be considered a loose slot machine, and that was the standard. That standard does not hold true. I do not know what they're set at, but from experience and from reading numbers from the Gaming Commission reports, it is going lower and lower and lower, and I would suspect right now it is in the 
mid to low 80s. And you can say, well, that's only 10%. That's only 15%. But you have to understand how a slot machine actually works. You can say, okay, bro, Frederick, I put in $100 on a 90% machine. I could expect to get $90 back. Theoretically, on one spin, yes. But you have to understand how a slot machine works. It is the churn of your money. You do not bet once, cash out, move to the next machine. Bet once, cash out, move to the next machine. That's not how you play a slot machine. You are continually exposing your bankroll to the same 10% hit. Here's how it works. If you, let's say, you have $100, you are, you're sitting at a machine that's $100 a spin. You spin one time, theoretically, you can expect to get $90 back. If you continue to sit at that machine, now your bankroll is $90. You press the button again, it's subject to the same 10% hit, which is nine dollars at this point so now you have 81 dollars plus or minus we're going to round you continue to sit at that machine your bankroll is now subject to another 10 percent hit you press the button it takes eight dollars now you're down to let's do the math 73 i think we're at you continue to sit there that 73 is exposed to the 10 percent vig it takes seven so now you're down to i'm starting to lose track of the math now you're down in the 60s you continue to sit there it's your bankroll continues to get subject that's why your money goes away regardless of what the machine is because you're constantly exposing your bankroll to the same 10 percent vig so now that it's 15 percent in some cases, 20% as a VIG, as the hold, as what the casino gets, the longer you sit there, they are going to take it all. Yes, that applies even if it, the machine is set to 95%, 99%. But here's the thing, it happens slower. It just happens slower. So you get more value and more opportunity to potentially hit a, a jackpot, hit a, at least get even, or at least get a freaking drink. But the way these machines are set up now, if you sit in front of one with a hundred dollar bill and bet minimum or three X bet, say, let's, let's just say Buffalo starts at 60 cents. Next bet is 120. Next bet is a dollar 80. If you sit down there with a hundred bucks and bet 120, which would be normal, you want to bet about, you know, 1% of your bankroll in a machine. That's what I always advocate. So 120 is looking pretty good. Trust me, you're not even going to get a drink in most cases out of that. I legitimately have sat in casinos as of late with investing very minimal because it was like a science experiment. The new Durango and several others. Can you hear how bad these roads are once you get past the F1? Oh my goodness. But I digress. I've sat there at a 120 bet with a hundred dollars and let me tell you people, it lasted about three to four minutes. Minutes. So for a hundred dollars, I got quote unquote four minutes of quote unquote entertainment. Is that freaking entertainment? Is that entertainment at that point? So to last for 15 minutes, I have to put in $300? That is not freaking entertainment. That is predatory. Absa freaking lootly predatory. And these casinos don't care. They don't care what they're doing and they don't care what you're doing. Well, they do, but they don't care what you're doing. They don't care if you're spending your your kids tuition fund, your rent money, they don't care. It's absolutely freaking predatory the way these machines operate. And all you've been hearing about, and the town's been bragging the storm, 
oh, we're making a billion dollars a month off of slot machine profits. They think you're stupid. <laughs> they literally consider slot machine players stupid at this point. They're just gonna boil the frog until it freaking dies. And they, they don't care if they take your house payment, your grocery money, it doesn't matter. They're not gonna provide you the value. But hey, bro, Frederick, I know someone who knew someone who knew someone who hit a progressive for 11,000. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. But you know how many people had to lose everything to fund that? and how much they kept in the process and got interest off of, you know, they, they could pay that jackpot, that lousy freaking major or grand or whatever, just on the interest if they put the machine's money in the bank. So they're not doing anyone any favors. It is getting absolutely predatory. You're not getting the drinks, you know, okay, you go to the wind, they're going to take care of you, but it just, just from a timing perspective, they're not even going to find you by the time you burn through your first hundred bucks. Did you people honestly ever think you'd hear me saying this, but I am suggesting, and let me know what you think down in the comments, I am suggesting just a straight up boycott of slot machines, especially here in Las Vegas. And what will that do? But hey, bro, Frederick, I enjoy it. Well, you know what? If everyone continues to sit their asses in front of these machines and pour their hard-earned money, busted their ass to get that money, busted their ass to get here to Las Vegas to just get their money Hoover vacuum right out of their freaking wallet by a machine with all its pretty bells and graphics and dopamine. Scientists are literally, and psychologists are literally designing these machines to maximize your addiction to them. You know, that's, there's, a, there's a wing of the college here in Las Vegas designed specifically to extract that and to, to tap into your addictive nature. That's what they're doing. That's a, even the music is designed to keep you sitting there. You know, they don't even rely on the drinks anymore. You know, it's all about the machines. Again, I digress. But I'm suggesting just boycotting these damn machines. Because what is happening now is, again, they think slot players are absolutely freaking stupid. Because they're like, oh my god. <laughs> no matter how tight we make these machines, these idiots keep feeding them. So they have no incentive whatsoever to change. The only incentive they have is to continue to make them tighter and tighter and tighter, which is boiling the freaking frog. And guess what, my friends? You're the frog. <laughs> You're the one getting boiled. If you don't know the term, look it up. So they're boiling the frog. And the only way that is ever, ever going to change is if people just stop planting their asses in front of these predatory machines with predatory behavior and someone's going to have to say, whoa, our profit is down. These people are wising up. I think we boiled the frog. So they'll look in the pot, they'll see you, you are the frog. It's boiled, it's dead, it's cooked, it's no longer doing anything. So they'll drain the water, get new frogs, new people in there, and they'll loosen the machines back up again to the point where there's some entertainment value. You never, it's never, it's not a winning thing. You know you're not here to win on a slot machine. You're, you're here to be kind of entertained. And they will have to, they will be compelled to loosen them back up into the high mid to high 90s once again and start the process all over again of boiling the frog. I've seen this throughout all the years I've been in Vegas and other gaming towns. It will happen. Once they realize they boiled the frogs, they'll suddenly, without any notice, open it back up and people will be like, oh my God, this is the best ever. I won five bucks on the buffalo and they'll start playing again and the profits will start churning once again. But the only way that's gonna happen is if people boycott. 
you know, just stop sitting your ass in front of slot machines. You saw, we, I took you to the brand new uh, Durango Casino. What did you see in there? 2,300 machines, 2,300 predators, 2,300 devices designed to take the community's money from them. 2,300, that is a huge, huge, huge amount of machines for such a small place. But they're like, F it, let's just deploy these things and just suck all the money out of this neighborhood as fast as we can. That's the thought process. It's not about you. And, bro, Frederick, what can you do about this? Well, besides boycotting, in Moss, on Moss, in mass is not sitting down. If that takes place, if everyone gets of the mindset, I mean, you could see it when you walk through these properties. There's just a little black cloud hanging over every slot player. You know, it's it's almost depression. That is, you could see the depression setting in when people play slot machines because they just can't believe that they're giving away the money and and they know they're doing the wrong thing. They know they're putting their 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 hard earned money in jeopardy. They know they're tossing it away, but they justify it. Hey, I'm in Vegas. This, that, and the other. Whatever. Just stop. There is so many other things to do in Vegas. Granted, the city as a whole is turning predatory. The city as a whole, $11 for a bottle of water. If they could charge you to breathe, they would. I mean, there's no real deals anymore. There's no, the value in Las Vegas is dwindling by the day. You know, I'll admit it. That's another hard thing for me to say and admit, but that's true too. But there are other things. You can do Vegas kind of on a budget, but just stay away from the gaming aspect. Or what I'm going to suggest, and I have suggested in the past when I saw this coming, which is learn how to play video poker. Video poker is a completely different animal. They can't play with the numbers. I've gone over it so many times, how to pick a machine that's nothing to a video poker machine, has nothing to do with its position, where it is, whether it's facing a bathroom. All you got to do is press a button and it'll show you what the machine pays. Find out, learn, watch a video. 962 is good. 651 is bad. <laughs> you know, they tell you exactly what you can expect from any given machine and you can sit down and play. You might not get the dopamine hits. You might not. It might not be glamorous. You know, you picture people with oxygen tanks smoking Virginia Slims in front of those machines. You know, stereotypical. But if you want to gamble, that's still the best bet in town is if you could find legitimately, quote unquote, loose video poker machines. There are some machines that can pay upwards of even money, 100% with perfect play, but you have to find them, you have to know how to play them, you have to know how to identify them, but they're not hiding them. All you have to do is press one button called pays and you find out what that machine is doing. Okay, what else can you do? Well, you can, besides stopping, besides playing video poker, you could try your hand at table games for many, many reasons. Now they are angling on the table games, they're adding greens, zeros to all the roulette tables, which absolutely F the odds up. They're making blackjack on blackjack tables. Oh, those potholes. They're making those 6-5 payback instead of 3-2. Again, more of a house edge. Uh, you know, it's just getting back crapless craps. They're doing all sorts of stuff to do the same type of manipulation to table games. But if you know how to pick a table game, that is a good thing. The other advantage of table games is they will treat you better. Because now, remember, remember what I said. They consider, well, I believe they consider, slot players dumbasses. They just, they're in shock that people are willing to just set money on fire or transfer wealth 
from your pocket directly into their pocket without providing anything almost anything in return yes you'll get your comps because you have your points but holy shit you get a free room at whatever new york new york you paid for that five times over they're giving you back a percentage of what you lost that's your money that they're giving you back think of it like uh you know, cash back on a credit card. Oh, you keep spending money, you're getting 2% cash back on your Discover card or whatever. That's all it is. It's your freaking money. You know, they, they got to keep you on the hook. So yes, you will get invites and incentives, you know, but it doesn't make you a baller or a player, you know, it just doesn't. It's your money to begin with. And they're just ma trying to make you feel less than a piece of shit for just torching your money in a mechanical predator or a digital predator. So don't get fooled by that. What is different about table games is they will, you get better treatment, you'll most likely get a host, you'll most likely get better value, you'll most likely get better comps, and it, there's just a little different air to it. And in certain circumstances, I wouldn't say you have an edge, but you can minimalize the house edge uh, more in the likes of blackjack with a good table and perfect play and everyone else playing perfect around you. Craps is just a blast. If you're gonna, if it's for the entertainment value, and craps cannot be beat. <laughs> craps cannot be beat versus a buffalo or anything else. It's just fun. We're going to sit in this traffic for a while. Oh, my God. Anyway, but you will get recognized. However, you do need a bigger bankroll. Other than I'll refer back to the Durango. They had $10 and $15 blackjack and craps tables going on. But, you know, you're not going to find that on the strip. You'll be lucky to find $25. But if you stop plowing all the money into these stupid, inane, baby riding a stork with a dragon flying around its slot machines, you'll have money to play table games. Or just go out and eat. Or just go to a show. Or just enjoy everything else that Vegas has to offer besides these freaking predatory slot machines and that's what I gotta say about that so I'm gonna invite you to do all the stuff like share subscribe and bonk, 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 hit that bell button to get notified when I drop another video and if you want to support the channel you know how to go about doing that I got all the links in the description if I'm providing you value and benefit if you could do the same for me that'd be absolutely freaking awesome and as I sit in this traffic, and on that note, Bro Frederick out.